BlackBerry hasn't been a major smartphone producer for quite a few years. The phone brand was saved from complete extinction when TCL licensed the right to use the name back in 2017. A short time later, India-based Optimus Infracom would also become a licensee and would release a few phones to the Indian market. Now, BlackBerry has been saved from the axe again by Onward Mobility, which has promised 5G-ready BlackBerry phones in 2021. What all this means is that your current options as a BlackBerry fan are quite limited. The key to is the best, and the key to LED is the only reasonable alternative. While both phones are passable, they are also rocking out of date mid range chipsets, so it's hard to recommend them unless you need a keyboard. Maybe you can also give the BlackBerry Evolve a try, though it doesn't have a US warranty. Here's to hoping Onward Mobility has lofty goals for BlackBerry. Without any further ado, let's start the video. Released in 2018, the BlackBerry Key 2 is the closest thing to a modern flagship with the BlackBerry name for now. Granted, it's pretty underpowered by today's standards, but it will likely deliver the best overall experience for most users. The Key 2 retains the physical QWERTY keyboard on the front, which sits below the 4.5-inch Full HD display. On the back, you'll find the trademark rubber grip material that BlackBerry is known for, as well as a pretty decent dual camera system. Inside, you'll find the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor, which is the same as you'll find in 2019 mid-rangers such as the Nokia 7.2 and the Redmi Note 7. In other words, you're not going to see the same power as the Snapdragon 855 or newer, but it will get the job done. There's also a decent 6GB of RAM, 64 or 128GB of internal storage, and a 3500MR battery. Those are respectable specs, but nothing noteworthy. Unfortunately, the BlackBerry Key 2 still hasn't gotten an update to Android 9 Pie, and may never. It also isn't easy to find the device in a brand new state, as it appears TCL is no longer shipping new products. As such, you might need to settle for a used device, but it's worth seeking out a new one, if you can get it. The BlackBerry Key 2 LE is a slightly cheaper variant of the Key 2. It cuts some corners in the specs department, in order to drop the price by just a tad. Notably, the Key 2 LE is still easy enough to find in a brand new state. It hasn't received an update to Android 9 Pie though, so there's that. The Key 2 LE looks pretty much the same as the regular Key 2. The differences are in the specs, and they are very subtle. For example, there's a 3000mm RH battery in the Key 2 LE instead of the 3500mm RH battery in the Key 2. The Key 2 LE also drops the RAM by 2GB, offers lower capacity storage options, and has a slightly weaker camera system. You'll also find a slightly weaker processor in the Key 2 LE, a Snapdragon 636 as compared to the 660 in the Key 2. Really, the only reason to buy the Key 2 LE over the Key 2 is that it's easier to find brand new, although it's still one of the best BlackBerry phones you can buy at all. If you can find a new variant of the Key 2 selling somewhere, definitely grab it. If not, the button below will take you to a page where you can purchase a brand new Key 2 LE, which will be almost as good. The Evolve is unique among modern BlackBerry devices in that it skips the physical keyboard. Instead, it sports a more traditional smartphone design with a rear-mounted fingerprint reader and dual camera setup. Like its Key 2 siblings, the BlackBerry Evolve cuts a few corners to save on price. A quick glance down the spec sheet reveals an entry-level Snapdragon 450 processor, 4GB of RAM, and 64GB of storage space. You should have no problem keeping the 5.99-inch display in your pocket, and the 4000mm RH battery should keep you going all day long. It also ships with Android 8.1 Aurea on board, so it's on par with the key two siblings. There aren't too many reasons to go for the BlackBerry Evolve considering its age and spec sheet. However, it is a BlackBerry through and through, and the 13MP shooter should do the trick for most people. 
As you can see, there just aren't any good options for BlackBerry phones until Onward Mobility unveils its plans. It's not time to give up quite yet, but the hourglass is certainly running out. So did you like the video? If you liked this hit the like button, and subscribe the channel for more videos. Till we meet in the next video this is Ahamd, and you are watching Techno AS, and I will catch you in the next one.